Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the first Linux and SteamOS offering from Square Enix, and that is Hitman Go Definitive Edition. So I'm going to start up right here. Now it may not be the title that most of you were hoping for. You're probably hoping for one of their third person titles. This is a port from a mobile game, so do take that in mind. So it's a Unity 3D title. And as you can see, it has a pretty simplistic interface to start out with, but you'll notice that it immediately started and I had no issues. This is on the NVIDIA 358 drivers. So initially when you start the game, it's capped at 60 FPS. I found that I've had to tick this and then untick it again. And usually that will uncap the FPS. Now the thing about the FPS is that it's extremely high. Now I've developed Unity 3D titles before in my own time, and I don't think I've ever seen frame rates this high before. So I'm curious if these guys have access to a specific build that only high-end high publishers get. I'm very curious. But you'll notice that the settings that we have here aren't exactly enticing. That's because it's a mobile port. It's, a not, it's not a computer game to say the least. We've got VSync, we've got Reset Game, which I believe just resets the entire game back to the beginning. Sound on and off, music on and off, and pretty much just credits. So we go back out, and there's a three-button interface here. Settings on the left. Exit on the bottom right and go to start the game. So it's a turn-based game and the controls are still very much touch oriented but do work with the mouse pretty well. And let's see if I can pull this around here. Yeah, I can pull this around. Can I change the rotation of this? No, not really. Performance is very good for the Linux game but then, then again it's, um, it's a mobile port so you can see that the models themselves are not exactly high poly, high res models. They're very low end. So I've gone through a couple of the basic levels here. It's turn-based, but with a slightly different feel to it. I don't feel like I'm waiting. The game waits on me to make my turn. I don't wait on the game to make a turn. So let's start up number seven here. Still at the beginning of the game. So it definitely has this nice panning effect. You see that I've got rocks here, so I've got to distract them at the same time. Let's, let's see if I can move this around. It's pretty smooth, considering it's a Unity 3D game. But then again, there's not much in the scene. But despite there not being that much in the scene, they do make it look pretty nice overall. It has an interesting aesthetic. As far as I know, this does not work with controllers. It's not meant to in the first place because it's a mobile game. So pretty much just mouse is all there is. I've tried pressing things on the keyboard as well. Nothing seems to happen. So let me go ahead and drag my agent onto the rock there. I'm going to throw the rocks somewhere that can attract their attention. So this is the first time I'm doing this level. I'm going to throw this here. I'm going to try and get their attention into the center. Since it's a turn-based game, I've got to make my character move. And move it back up again. So now that they're all in one direction here, let's see if I can go grab another rock. The dangerous thing here is that this guy, right here, is looking to the left, so I cannot move there. This is pretty risky. What am I going to do? How am I going to go about this? Let's throw that rock there and bring my guy to the right. So I've just attracted all their attention to the right there. Still not good enough because now we have one guy looking at my direction on the right. So I'm going to throw this rock here, grab his attention. Oh, wait, no, he's looking to the left and right, but nobody's looking up or down. So I can take out all of these guys in one go. Oh, look at that sweet kill. Oh, that was all of them down and out. Oh, and I got an achievement, Flash Mob. So if I move straight on, headwards to this guy, I would lose immediately. Because he's looking in my direction. So I've got to drag this and move it to the right. You see, that's a very simplistic style of gameplay. It's definitely not uh, the usual type of Hitman game that we've seen in the past, whether on PlayStation or PC. Where we're a third person, we've got this interesting storyline there's there's practically no story to this as far as i know we're just in a mansion and trying to kill people to reach to our target like you can see here this is the mansion we're in and we have this guy as our target as far as i can tell this is the final end target game and you have several boards like this where you go through different things the cool thing is that it does provide for different types of gameplay styles. You'll notice that I only have one dot here compared to three dots that's required. I can go with a no-kill tactic. Uh, there was a previous one just now I didn't read. For example, this one has three as well. No-kill, uh, all-kill, and completing the level. So let's do one more before I end this video. It's a pretty quick video just to give you an idea of what the game looks like and how it performs. And it performs pretty well. Over over 200 frames per second. You don't usually see that with a Unity title. 
even though this title isn't pushing it that much, it looks nice for a mobile game. The shadows definitely do not look like what a mobile game has to offer, at least none that I've played so far. So I'm guessing these guys are... Well, this is going to be pretty difficult. He's the guy I want to kill, I believe. Problem is, these guys move around a lot. I cannot go out. Oh my goodness. I lose. <laughs> okay, there we go. There you have it. Pretty challenging. He's going to come back. I do not have a chance. I have to go this way. Which way is he going to go through? Let's see. He should reach here. Now I can go after him. An attempt a kill? Is it even possible? No, it's not possible. Ooh, this is this is a bit of a challenge here. How can I approach this? He comes here. If I go there right now, he'll see me for sure. So if I move forward like this, he will see me for sure. Holy crap sticks. What does one do in such a situation? I can't reach him. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, oh, oh. But I can reach that target. But I want to get that suitcase on the top left. So I'm going to go take this guy out. Move here. Move here. Move here. Let's see if I can go and grab this beautiful case. Wonder for the bubbles. Can I get that guard? No, I cannot. I would like to kill the guard. I would very much like to kill the guard. Let's see if it's entirely possible at all. Wow, these two guys almost feel like I can't, like there's no way for me to kill them at all. Can I get that guy on the left? I don't see a way that this will pan out in me being able to kill him. Alright, I'll just move ahead and kill the target. At least I managed to get the suitcase. Kill your mark. 40 no turns or fewer. I probably could have achieved that if I wasn't lollygagging. Collect the briefcase. So there you have it, it's pretty simplistic gameplay, it gets more and more advanced as you go on with more and more elements brought into the scene. I don't want to spoil things too much in case you want to get the game for yourself and you want to explore uh, and through the levels as they come to you. So at first, when you first start out, it's really simplistic, alright? So let me just show you how simplistic. By the way, I really like the panning, the panning really makes it look nice. So yeah, this is literally the first level. You literally walk two steps. That's it. <laughs> when I first played it, I think to myself, what the hell is this? People buy this? I bought this? But then as we go along, it got, it's getting better. I'm definitely interested to see what the other boards have. People say it, gets, it grows in complexity as you go on, and I'm definitely interested to see that. I like the Hitman games. This definitely lacks the depth of the older titles. I hope. I hope this is... A sign that Square Enix is going to bring us a lot more of the titles from the past and the future as well. So that's pretty much it for this gameplay video guys. You've seen what the title looks like and how it performs on Ubuntu 15.10 with the NVIDIA 358 drivers. That's it for this gameplay video guys and thank you for watching.